Hey guys, so we will cover about custom post type and its taxonomy. So when you create a custom post type, you also have an option to create a unique categories or to add a categories into your custom post type. And that is so-called taxonomy. So aside from categories, you can also create tags and you can also register a lot of fields. So the reference of that can be found in the WordPress developer documentation. This video will walk you through the, the best practices and like how and when you should be using custom post type depending on your preference. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, so we will cover about the custom post type and also the taxonomies, um, like how and when we should be using taxonomies. And it really depends on your purpose, but I'll, I'll just explain with you how that works. So basically, this is the default post in WordPress. It's called custom post. Now, if you want to add additional or different type of post that is um, separate from your post, you need to create a custom post type. So example of a custom post type would be projects, press, and etc. Now, in the custom post type, for example, I'm going to click this one. Um, we have an option to add a tags. We also have an option to add a category. Now, if you think that you don't need this part, you can always exclude this. Or you can also just inherit what it's what's it existing, what's your existing categories in your default post. And let me show you the like the um, syntax for that. So there's a lot of, by the way, so these are the syntax and I'm going to create an article version for this one for your copy. And I'll show you as well, like how you can come up or create a, a taxonomy. So um, before we start, you need to have a child theme. And if you don't know how to how to install a child theme in your WordPress website, then feel free to check my article version. Now, once you already have a child theme, um, go into the appearance and then the theme editor and then go to the functions.php. Again, I'm going to put this code in my article, so make sure you check that out. So if you create a uh, custom post type, this is basically just the, the code that... Um, this is just the code that you need. So you need to have the name of your um, post type and then labels. Now, there's a lot of labels that you can put in, but it's not really necessary unless you need it. So if you go to the WordPress documentation and type in um, registered custom post type. So let's go there. Um, registered custom post type click this one there's a lot of RA that you can um, put in into your post type so for example so this one for example like if you felt that this needs to be changed and you can always change it like um, add new. I think we already have a new there. Yeah, so this one, like if you want to add something, add new, then you can do that. Um, so like that. If you have a lot of RAs, you need to use this code. But if it's just once, like if you just want to use add recipe, this will do. Yeah something like that i will not use everything i don't think that's um i need those but again i'll put all the codes on my article version so by default um this is how I, I mean you can straightly create a custom post type using this code and let's call this one for example test um and this one just test then this one should be test press i'll change this okay and then if we click update okay and then we refresh the website 
you'll see that there is a test page. Now, if you want to, to inherit the categories on the post, you can put in this code here called taxonomies and just put it there. Like if you want to inherit the categories and post, if you want to have like this type. Um, but the problem in this part is they will inherit the existing category section and post tag of the post, of your default post. Now, what I prefer is to use the registered taxonomy. So basically, we will register a categories, a unique categories for, for that specific custom post type, which is test. So I'm going to remove that one. I don't think I need that. And we can copy this part here. So, and then put it over that, that one. Put over there and registered okay so press category is the name to your taxonomies you can use whatever um, naming convention you prefer so test me or test cat and then test tag so you can always use that but make sure that this area in here should be equivalent in your registered custom post type so we'll put that word test there and then test. So basically, um, we will support or we will register a taxonomies for the categories. We want it to be queryable and we want it to be rewritable at the same time. Both and tags, we want it to be, um, it is labeled as tags. We want it to be queryable. We want it to be rewritable. If you want going to put something in here, it will be, it will inherit the default value of WordPress. So we will update that. And if we refresh it and see this one, so you'll see that there's already a tags and there's already a categories in here. So in the categories, you can always put its custom categories in here. You can always put your, your unique categories in this custom post type. So I created a test um, categories but this categories is not visible in other custom post types. If you went to the press here, you'll see that this press custom post type is using a different category. And this um, custom post type is using a different category. The default post is using, again, a different categories. But if you don't like to have multiple categories or have different categories per custom post type, you can always use the taxonomy part, this one. Basically, this will just inherit the categories of your default post. So that's it. Now, um, if you have a lot of custom post type, um, I would prefer to put that on a function um, part to organize everything. So basically, this is just what you need. But I would prefer to wrap it inside the function so you have you organize all of your codes. So if I put that over there, copy this one, and then put it inside. So basically, it's just like function and then name. Let me just scrub this code here because I really not, I'm not so familiar with that thing. So basically this one, functions, the PHP, and then inside that is the custom post type. And in order to functions work, you need to add an action. You need to close it. You can put it over at the top of the functions.php or you can always put it over there. It depends on you, whatever you prefer. So yeah, so if I update that one, I mean, it's still working. Whether you put it outside or inside the functions.php, it's still, um, it, it will still work. But I would prefer to just put everything. If you have a lot of custom post type, you need to um, organize it in the function. So it would be easy for you to call it in the future um, purpose. 
So that's basically how it works, guys. I hope you find it valuable. Again, I'm going to create an article version for your reference. And if I have um, something that I want to add up in, cost in this custom post type tutorial, I'll put it on my article version. Thank you.